Okay, so congratulations, you've reached the end of this video course. Uh, this is, of course, video number eight, and we're going to talk about Pop Ads Traffic Source. Now, to help you get started, we're going to be using Pop Ads as our traffic source. It's a lot easier for newbies to get started with. It doesn't require a lot of investment in terms of budget. Now, you can use other pop sources like Pop Cash, but we like Pop Ads more. Now, in terms of the offers that convert really well with Pop Ads, uh, number one, you want to definitely get something targeted. And number two, if you utilize something like a smart link, then it's so smart that usually it can figure out what would that person, you know, like. Now, it's not going to know 100%, uh, but uh, based on what's converting in that specific area, uh, that will actually convert. Now, I want to say you might run an ad and it, it may not even convert anything. That's why we recommend uh, and the reality check of you're not going to be profitable sometimes on the first, second, third um, campaign. But the purpose of running that is to figure out what is actually converting. Now, bear in mind that you also need to have a tracking system set up with the platform like Volume. We've got AdsBridge. We've got RedTrack. And there's a ton of other tracking systems out there. Now, for the sake of simplicity, we're going to be direct linking, which works fairly well. So if you have a smart link or you have a link to, let's say, for example, the, the network that buys your push notifications, that's actually easier to get set up with. So let's hop on over to Pop Ads and I'm gonna show you how to set up your campaigns correctly to start driving some traffic. Okay, so this is one of our Pop Ads accounts and uh, one thing you wanna start out with is click on the inventory here and you'll reach this page here. And what this does is it allows you to see where the traffic is coming from. So for example, it says United States, there's about a million unique traffic. There's raw traffic, there's the average bid, there's a max bid. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to see the opportunity of where your ads may appear. So the best thing to do when you create a campaign is to target a specific country and a very specific, either mobile devices or desktop computers, and you kind of want to split test things there. So maybe you only target USA, a mobile device using cellular connection, uh, and certain things like that. So this allows you to see all the countries and where all the traffic is coming from. Now you're not able to see it, but basically on the top right hand corner, I can see my balance of how much money I have in my account. Uh, but I didn't want to show that because uh, the name is up there as well. Now, when you're ready to create a campaign, you click on new campaign. And here we go. So first things first, you want to enter the name of your campaign. So we'll just say test 10. Then you have the single URL. This is going to be the URL that your tracking system gives you, or if you're direct linking, you want to get the link that the CPA offer or the CPA network provides to you. So you want to enter that here. We'll just say purefly.com slash something. Now it says enable landing page prefetching. You don't need that. Um, those are more advanced. Uh, it says quality, all websites. Now you can target what pop ads deems as a better quality. So you could do five plus or above. The only problem with this is that you are then limited to only a certain amount of traffic. Uh, the best way is to start out with all websites and then based on the conversions and the statistics and the tracking, trying to figure out, okay, what websites are converting or not, then go from there. So we like to do that frequency. What this means is how many times your ad is going to appear to that specific person. So if there's a person that you're targeting, general person, that's one view per 24 hours, or you can do one view per like seven days or one view per three days, because we don't want people to see it too much. 
Uh, typically, if they don't convert on that given moment, they are not going to convert later on kind of thing. Because pop ads is, is not intrusive, but it's not what somebody is looking for. All right, so what this means is start or pause. That means that whenever your campaign has been approved, do you want it to immediately start or do you want it to pause? We like pause because if we do start and it happens to be we're targeting a specific country that is at midnight, for example, and we know that's not going to convert at midnight, then it'll immediately start the campaign. So we like to do pause. Prime spot, that means prime spot bidding occurs when a visitor hasn't received a pop under for the last hour. That means they have not received any pop unders, even from your competitors or somebody else on the pop ads network. Next, we have refer. Usually leave that as standard ad block. Now, what that means is that some people have pop-up blockers, right? And then some people don't. If you do all traffic, then you're going to pay for people who have pop-up blockers and people who don't. So what we want is non-ad block only. Now we're going to do pop unders. I'm going to check this box because I don't want to allow other methods. Now the next thing is budget. You have smart bid and legacy bid. So what you want to do is for the max bid is you can type in like 005 just to start out with, and then you can enter a daily limit or budget, let's say $10. And what that does is the system will bid up to that point. The next thing is we have throttling. Uh, we don't want throttling, so we always disable that. Categories is next. So we have adult, lots of different adults. So adult is obviously, could be dating, mainstream dating, or uh, something like this. Now, if we don't want any of this, we can just type in the keyword term general like this, and we can pick and choose like arts, animation, artists, entertainment, and so forth and so on. So if you have something very specific, like let's say for example, automotive, you can select that and then click add, all right? So you can select this here, click add, and there we go. Or another way of doing this is you can type in the word general, simply click this here, and then check this, make sure that this is checked, which is automatically include descendant children category. So if you add, what that does is it adds everything below it. So it added all the general categories. Now, what you really need to think about right now is does the offer actually fit these categories? Because if they don't, then you're going to pay for traffic. That's not going to convert. The next thing up is country targeting. So you can target specific countries. So we can target United States. We can target uh, India, Iceland, things like that. Now, the best thing to do is to ask your affiliate manager, hey, affiliate manager, what countries convert best for this offer or for this smart link? Most of the time you'll get emails about it, but it's best to ask your affiliate manager. So if they say, well, right now the smart link converts best with India, you want to add India. Now, bear in mind that you don't want to add multiple countries if possible, just add one country. So that way, you know, okay, if I'm getting 10, 20 different conversions from this campaign, it's all coming from India. You see, if you mix too many countries, you're not going to know what is actually working. Next up is society targeting, which is basically languages. In this case, we want to do English. And then uh, they have populations and all of that. We're going to leave that as is environment targeting is basically the operating system. So if you're targeting mobile devices and you only want to target Android, you just select Android and click on add. So you can see there's Android, there's iOS, there's Mac, there's Linux, there's Windows and more. So it really depends on what device that you are targeting. So we got screen resolutions. We normally leave that blank. Then we have device targeting. Like I said earlier, you can do smartphones. Now I recommend that you don't choose all of them. You choose one. That's it. 
Now, if you want to do smartphones with cellular, with 3G and 4G, and with desktop, I would create two separate campaigns. So you're going to do that. Click on smartphone. You also need to take a look at the offer. Some CPA offers will say, we only allow you to promote this to mobile phones on Wi-Fi that are using this operating system. So you need to pay careful attention to that because if they say that and you, let's say you drive leads that are using iPhone and they don't want iPhone, then you're not gonna get the sale, all right? You gotta target the right target. Next up is connection targeting, basically the internet service or ISP. So that could be business, internet cafe, blah, blah, blah. Next up is, if we scroll down, is time targeting. We usually leave this blank because we don't know off the bat until we do testing what the best time is. So we leave that as is. If you're doing India, then you might want to choose the time zone of India, wherever that might be, all right? Or whatever country that you are targeting. Website targeting allows you to exclude certain websites or include certain websites. Now bear in mind, Pop Ads does not give you the URL to the website. What they do give, however, are numbers and only Pop Ads knows what those numbers mean. So if you find that you know a certain number is not converting, you can add that number here to the exclude list. Or if you're finding a specific website number that's converting really well, you can take that number and plop it right here. All right. Next up is ad score traffic validation. We normally set it as valid as allow, proxy as block, meaning if somebody logs in via a proxy, they get blocked. And the reason why is because a lot of people that have like spam bots and bots, which is something else that you have to deal with, they use proxies. So they have systems that you know, go to web pages via proxies. They have junk, we do block, and we do bot traffic block. So we want real live human beings, we do not want bots. Now you click on summary, and what this does is it allows you to see what the traffic options are. So how much traffic you're going to get. Now, bear in mind when I went up here, I think there's certain things that I didn't fill out, but what it's gonna tell you is it's going to estimate how much traffic you're going to get. And based on that, it'll tell you, okay, you're gonna be third place or you're gonna be seventh place. And based on that, what you can do is change this and increase it up. So you could, instead of 0.005, you could do 0.05. And then look at the traffic estimator and see where your rank position is. All right, so when you're done, all you have to do is save the campaign and click run and that's it. So that's how simple it is to run a pop ads campaign.